Hi everyone, I am back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. In this channel, I share everything related to my life post kidney transplant, always with the aim of sharing tips, ideas, just in general, things that I consider can be useful to the chronic kidney disease community. With that being said, today I want to share my experience going out of the country for the first time at only nine months post kidney transplant. Spoiler alert, I got sick, but I also had tons of fun. And in this video, I will be telling you all about it. I was very excited to go to Mexico to see my sister, but I will be lying if I said I wasn't worried about traveling immune compromise. I mean, I have to be worried about the food, the water, the sun, and also COVID, among other things. But I made my peace with it because at the end of the day, I can just stop living, right? <laughs> my first test with food was at the airport in Tijuana. I had a couple hours to kill and I decided to have breakfast. The meal was amazing. My biggest concern was to get sick in my stomach uh, during my plane ride, but that did not happen, thankfully. So once in the plane, I wore my mask at all times and only took it down to drink water, which I did plenty of that. Um, traveling by plane is known to cause uh, dehydration, so drinking plenty of water is the most. Also, I make sure to open the overhead fans. This is good to have better airflow in your steering area. I forgot how hot it can get in Los Cabos. Prior to my transplant, uh, being in the heat was not a problem. Maybe in part because I was anemic, so the heat felt okay. That has changed thanks to my new kidney. I'm no longer anemic, but now I feel very uncomfortable in the heat. 20 minutes into the car ride to my sister's place, I started to feel sick. I had nausea, like my whole system was off. Guys, it was probably 105 degrees outside, if not more. So we stopped at a fast food restaurant. I really wanted to be in a place with a strong AC. I, I had an order of fries. It, it just seemed at the moment that it was going to help my stomach to feel better, and, and it did. So we hang out in there for about 45 minutes and when I left, I was feeling pretty close to normal. So I think the reason I felt that bad was, was out of that, the heat. <laughs> so once at my sister's place, I went to the local store to get water. I stuck to this brand called Seal. It's made by Coca-Cola and it just seemed to be good to me. Like it didn't make my stomach upset or anything. The next day we got up early and went to visit uh, Todos Santos. That's a beautiful little town about an hour away from Cabo San Lucas. We had breakfast at this restaurant called La Garita. It's definitely a must visit if you ever go to Todos Santos. At this point I am getting relaxed about food since I already ate three times and I was fine. I had a big plate of chilaquiles with meat, some fried cheese, hot chocolate, coffee. I mean, the diet literally went out of the window. <laughs> and happy to report that these meals did not make me sick. We walk around and saw the beautiful town of Todos Santos. Uh, my sister and her friend got a mixed drink. I totally passed on that. It was a really hot day and I didn't want to have anything that could potentially dehydrate me. And also they put ice in the drinks and ice equals local water. I know better not to drink local water. <laughs> so did you know that in this town you can find the famous Hotel California that many people claim to be the place where the eagles composed the famous song Hotel California. Well, this is it. Nearby, I got a cleansing from this guy who said a beautiful prayer about healing and self-love while he was doing his thing. It was a very special moment, kind of because it seemed that everything he said described my battles and my victories in the past two years. My trip was only for three days. I purposely booked it like that. I wanted to be sure in case I run into some health issues. 
I mean, after all, I'm not even a year post transplant, so just to be on the safe side. The day I was flying back, I was pretty relaxed when it came to food because to that point nothing made me sick. Um, we went and got breakfast at this very cute place in Los Cabos. I ate pretty comfortably and unfortunately that's when it happened. I don't know what part of that meal made me sick but I have a very strong stomach ache and of course that came with other stomach issues that you can imagine. At some point I was sweating and I was shaking. Um, maybe I was getting pretty dehydrated. Uh, I was trying to drink water but it wasn't easy since my stomach was very upset. Um, after about two hours and a little nap, my body started to regulate itself and I started to feel much, much better. So feeling much better, we stopped to see some friends um, at the marina before I was heading to the airport. I was a little afraid to eat again, but I was also very hungry and it was gonna be a few hours until I got home. I kinda risked it since I was feeling pretty much normal. Thankfully, my stomach felt just fine. The airport in Los Cabos was pretty packed with people. I made it home and now I am sure I managed to not get COVID the whole time I was there. Something that I could have done better was to uh, protect myself more from the sun. So I wore sunscreen the whole time I was there. I realized when I came back that I had two stains on my face. So I had one here and one over here. You are going to be sightseeing and stuff like that. Definitely a hat, I will say it is a must. My trip was short, but it was pretty fun. Sure, I wish eating a meal in a foreign country did not feel like playing Russian roulette, but this is my reality now. I think that only when you go up there, you will learn more about what your boundaries are and really what being immune compromised means to you. We should always follow guidelines, of course, but at the end of the day, everyone is different. If I could give you an advice, it's always to be careful for sure, but don't let the fear of getting sick stop you from living and making the best of this beautiful opportunity that is being alive.